What's up, YouTubers? Here with a Volkswagen Tiguan. Same thing for all Volkswagens that share this similar key. If you oftentimes find yourself pressing this button out of range, your key can lose synchronization. And I'm gonna show you how to synchronize your key. It's the first thing to check. Other than your battery, if your unlock and lock and key fob is not responding. A great way to tell if your battery is bad or if you need to resync your key is right over here. In the top you have this little area of the light there so what happens is if the battery is good when you press unlock for example this should light up red see that little blinking but that just to me tells me that my battery is most likely good and my battery does not need a replacement so that's a great way to start a diagnosis on that if that light was flashing there the next thing i would do is resynchronize the key so first thing you're going to do is come over to your driver's side door so normally you'll have a little cover here but in this case there isn't it's already removed what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your key, you're gonna leverage the key from the bottom right there. You're also gonna pull the handle out a little bit and this will help you remove the cover. See the link below in the description. I removed the cover in another video. So this all has to be done quickly together. You take your key, you're gonna let that pop out using this right over here. Then the next thing, within one minute of hitting this unlock button right over here that you come over and you turn the key left fully to unlock once. Afterwards, you're going to go ahead and put that into the ignition to the on position without starting the car. Now, so I have the cap off. I removed the cap already. Then first thing I'm going to do is press the unlock button once, standing very close to the car. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Then after that, I'm going to put the key in to the slot. I'm going to unlock it. So I'm going to go left as I did. I'm going to open the car door. Now, you may have to close the door behind you. I don't. Next thing I'm going to do is put the key in the ignition and turn it to the on position without starting the car, okay? Then I'm gonna not turn on the car, just turn off the ignition completely, get out of the car, close the door, and lastly, press the lock button. So now the key is synchronized. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. See you on the next one.